everyone. I hope you're all still well. We continue to pray for all of you. And in finding things to be grateful for today, I'm looking at the beautiful sky, the beautiful clouds, the sun shining through, the trees that are growing so nicely in our neighborhoods, all the things that we have to say thank you to God for. And we say our prayers together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, God, for the beautiful sky and clouds and the beautiful days that you've given to us all. Hi, Anna. I miss you, and I hope to see you so far. Hi there, it's Miss Carol. Hello to all you people at home, Marion Center families, and Marion Center friends. And here is Shanice helping me to make our paper tulip garden. So we have our things here. We trace the tulips. We have pipe cleaners to make the stems and leaves. 
And Shanice is going to cut out our top tulips, if she can start here. And it's doubled up, so we make two of each to see if we can get a few of them done today. That's it, girl. And we use, I'll put slits in the paper after. And just to make a paper garden to set on the, in a little paper cup or something on the teacher's desk, makes the room look brighter when we come in in the morning. And you can do this at home with construction paper, pipe cleaners, or if you don't have pipe cleaners, you can cut out, you use straws, or cut the stems out of construction paper also. So really, as long as when you're home, if you use construction paper to draw pictures or make other kind of projects at home, it's really a very easy thing to create. You can make a very colorful garden. There's one, he's got another one. Okay, Shanice has got two more to do. You're going to run your stems through here. Goes in, in the bottom here. Push it through and come out. And in here. That's a girl. Okay, and now get this one stem through there. That's a girl. Good job. I like your colors, too. That's really nice. And, whoops, no. Yeah, I'm coming through. Wait, there you go. And in. Okay, now what kind of what colors do you want for the leaves? What color leaves? But which one? For this one. Okie dokie. And pick leaves for this one. Leave to me the leaves are the hardest part. Because I can never get them stung around. We're gonna make here. Make it like it's a bow tie. Can you tie it in a circle? Two circles. Tie it in two circles, Shanice. And then we'll stick it on the stems. And we'll have our thing finished. There you go. Because not all leaves are together. As Miss Deborah's favorite statement is, this is art. And that's what Maite says. This is art. So not all things are together. Art sometimes is different. Where's yellow on the blue? on the green. Okay, dokie. Not all things look alike when you're making art. Not all leaves are the same when you're making art. Oh, we have a baby leaf and a big leaf. Here we go. I'm not good at tying ties. Neither am I. Miss Carol isn't either, so that's okay. We're going to put him on here, and we're almost finished. On this one, you want to hold up your other two tulips and show everybody what a good job you did making our tulips for our bouquet. There we go. We have our tulips. And this poor little tulip, maybe he didn't have enough water, but. And we have this one here, and we have this little guy here. And she did her art for the day. And she had which colors? Red, yellow, blue, red. Red. And she's gonna put them in a vase on her teacher's desk. And her teachers will love them in the morning when they come into school in the morning. And until next time when we do something else, stay happy and healthy and God bless all of you. Bye.
Hi guys at home. How are you doing? And this is Susan and Mariana. And we are the Merriam Center. Okay, and today we are going to do a little bit of thing called the rainbow. Right? Can I ask Mariana what's the color of the rainbow? Red. Yellow. Green. And blue. Great job, great job. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment where we have blue. Yeah. And we have green. 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 Great job. And Marion, you want to pass that color? We have yellow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Right. And we have yeah. red. Red. Yeah. Okay. So with these colors, we are going to place each color and a little bit of uh, brush here. And Mariana, would you like to stand up a little bit and dip this in the red? Wait a second. Dip it in the red. And this, the red, and place it right here. You want a lot of a lot of red. There's a lot of red. More red. Yeah. Good job. More red. Right there. And we are going to, thank you, Mariana. And Susan, can you do the yellow? Yeah. We are going to do the yellow. We are going to do the yellow. No, 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 no. Can you put the yellow right here? Real good job, yellow. And the next color, Susan, is the green. Can you put the green on the brush right there? Green. Green, green, a lot of green, a lot of green, a lot of green. Good job. Can I help you? Put some more, put some more. Yeah. Right. Make it a lot. Great job. Yeah. Yep. And then Mariana, the blue. Yeah. Put some blue right here, Mariana. Blue right here. Yep. Great job. Good. And so that's enough, Mariana. Thank you. That's yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so now Susan is gonna do the magic trick. No, Susan is gonna make the rainbow. We're gonna start yeah, the rainbow yeah. from here, Susan. Can yes, right. Hold, yeah. Can you hold the brush? Yeah. Can I guide you a little bit, Susan? Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. The world is a rainbow. Yeah. It's filled with many colors. Okay. Yeah. Here we are. No. Yeah. Yes. It's finished, Susan. It's no. finished. Okay. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Susan wants to go to the hand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why do we see rainbow in the sky, Susan? Why do we have rainbow? What is the rainbow? Yeah, mean? Right. Still the colors. Hmm? Still the colors. The rainbow means the sun, sun will be rainbow. coming out pretty soon. Sun. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Let's show you rainbow. Can you see the song? The world is a rainbow. Yes, Filled with many colors, red, yellow, green, and blue. Can you finish it? Huh? Okay, guys. So <laughs> the world is a rainbow. Susan, would you like to draw a sun? Yeah. Draw a sun. Do your own thing. Paint a sun. Sunshine. After the rainbow comes the sun. So draw a sun, Susan. You're gonna see Susan do her own thing. A sun. Put the sun right here. Yeah, okay, Susan, that's great. Yeah. Okay, if you want to put the sun there, put the sun there. It's up to you. Yeah. Make a sun. Mm -hmm. Make yeah. a sun. Uh, In your own. Mm -hmm. Make a sun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good yeah. job, Susan. Great. Making your sun. Mr. Sun. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Please shine down on me. Great job, Susan. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. Thank you, Susan. And you want to put the yellow inside there? Don't be afraid. Yeah, right inside. Paint the yellow in there. That's okay. Paint it up. Paint it up. Paint it up. When the sun comes out, it comes out very good. 
So you gotta make yours great. Good job. Would you like to show your painting now? Would you like to show your painting to the guys at home? Thank you guys, and this is the rainbow. Hey, rainbow that is filled with many colors. Hey, no, no, hey. Okay, pass it on to Mariana. Would you like to show it, Mariana? That's the rainbow. rainbow. Filled with many colors. Okay? Yes. So thank you guys for watching. And maybe you can try this at home too. It's wonderful to remind you of the rainbow that comes out. Okay? And thank you guys for watching. Have a great Hi, how are you doing guys? Okay guys, hope everything is okay. Loving you guys every day, praying for you guys every day. And just waiting for that beautiful moment where we will come back together as a family in the Marion Center and continue, right? Listen, Miss Agnes came with this idea that I thought it would be great for you guys to do at home. Um, of course, we also do it in the Marion Center when you guys were there. But I thought maybe you can do it at home. It's just an activity to keep you busy, right? So, if you take a paper, coloring paper, notebook, but it doesn't matter. But if you put something in the middle, that that's what you're going to work with. I am going to work with, what does it say? That's right. Names of food starts. I figure, let me see what I can find with food start. So I found the coupons of every store, right? So here is one. I looked for it and I found food fair. So I would take the glue, right? Put a little bit of glue there, and I am going to paste it on that paper that I wrote names of food store. Here's another one. It's Audi. Another food store. So I'm still staying on the same bracket that it's asking me. It's saying food store. So I found another one when Dixie. Right. So I would take that and glue that here. Okay, so mind you, I'm still doing food stores. I'm not changing anything. Okay, guys, so what I want you to guys to do is to work some kind of activity like this with me. See, so far. I put the names of the food store. Okay, see that? All right, and there's many more. Depending how big your, your paper is, you are recognizing the names of the store. Now, <clears throat> here's another one. This one is price, price. So, because this is a food coupon there's a whole bunch of prices so what do miss agnes do i glue in and i put down different prices right because that's what it says to do price they want to see price okay so at miss agnes is doing prices again you know you can use <clears throat> coupons you can use whatever wherever you see that there's a price you cut it and you paste it, right? You paste it. Now remember, this activity is to help you, right? It help you to read the word, help you spell it, and help you to recognize price, right? Numbers, we're working with numbers, right? <laughs> um, it helps you when you go to restaurants, you can, you can see the price of the menu, it's, it's important. Everything is important in life. You just have to go about it and, and learn the different things 
that we need to know. All right, so I'm cutting. I'm making sure that I'm staying on that bracket of prices. These are all prices. That's all I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm not putting anything else there because it does not ask me for anything else. It asks me only for prices. The other one was just for food stores. Okay, so guys, I'm continuing to get prices. But while I'm doing that, do you know there's so much you can do besides prices and names of the store? You can do, let's say you put clothing. That means that what do you do? You only put clothing on there. Nothing else, right? Nothing else, just clothing. Clothing is what? What we wear, okay? So, would I put a pocketbook in there with the clothing? No, because it's a pocketbook. I cannot wear a pocketbook, right? It's only clothing, okay? <clears throat> Another one is shoes. If I do one for shoes, that means I will go and look in magazines only for shoes. And that's what I will glue on my paper, shoes. We can do um, faces. We can cut different faces from magazines and just put it up, right? Different faces because every face has a different shape, right? Different smile, right? It's just showing you how to stay on the same bracket. You can do furniture. You can look for furniture on, on newspapers and just cut furniture. Bed, dresser, dining room. That's furniture. Would I put cake in that pattern? No. No, because it's only asking for furniture. Very good. And fruits. If I do fruits, I put fruits in the middle, then all I will cut off from the magazines is fruits. And you will find that in the coupon magazines, right? Newsletter. <coughs> um, another thing is seasons. You can do seasons, right? Cut pictures showing the different seasons, right? You would not put orange juice on that bracket because it's not asking for for juice it's not asking for drinks it's only saying season right and another one you can do another one and right in the middle you can do you can write it on a piece of paper like this whatever paper and right in the middle you can put hmm, the Marion Center family right so what can you do you can make a circle and say, this is the school building, right? Another circle, this is the cottage. Another circle, this is the ADT, right? And then here you can make another circle of just write all the staffs that works in the kitchen, in the office, Biko who works outside. You can do something like that, right? It's just an activity of recognizing what you put down in the middle is what you have to put together, okay? So like I said, you cannot put down here fruits in the middle and then put shoes for pictures. No, you have to put fruits because that's what your title is. That's all I want to share with you guys. Just an activity for you to do home. Make a title and add the pictures that goes to that title. It's good to do. It's a, it's a fun activity, right? And like I said, it could be whatever you want in that title. What matches the pictures. If you love cards, then you will put cards. And then you put all kinds of different cards, right? Whatever you like, guys. Whatever makes you happy and enjoying the activity that Miss Agnes shared with you guys. So, again... I hope you enjoy this little activity. Uh, it's fun. It's very simple. Just glue, right? And just know what you're going to write in the middle of the paper, right? And start it off with food price. I mean, I'm sorry, food store. So I took all the names of stores, 
okay? I would not put numbers in here because it's not asking me for numbers. I would not put cards in here because it's not asking me for cards. I would not put faces here because it's not asking me for faces. It's asking me for the names of the stories. So remember, guys, when you do this activity, put in the center the title of what you want to do. Then you look for the picture of that title, magazines, um, coupon uh, magazines like this, a newspaper. Anywhere that you can find that item that you chose to do, that's what you glue. Okay, guys? All right, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. My love and hug is to you. And remember, we'll be back together soon. Have a great day. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Sandra, and we are going to continue with our music. Do you remember we did music before? Well, we are going to continue with it, and we have our music teacher extraordinaire and musician, Miss Jamie. She's here with us today, and we are going to be strumming up some rhythm. Are you guys ready for rhythm? Yes. Yes, we are going to be doing Rhythms, high rhythm, low rhythm, soft rhythm, hard rhythms, and we are just going to rock and roll, okay? Here, you can see some of the things we'll be using. Miss Jamie guitar is right there. We have rhythm sticks. We have the egg shakers, and we have some more rhythm sticks. But, Angie, can you tell me any difference between the rhythm sticks, Angie? Yes. There are difference. Can you hold them for me, please? Good job. Tell me something different about them. Both of them are ryth rhythm sticks, but they're, they are different. So tell me something about them, Angie. This stick, is brown yes and this one is blue yes anything else and they both some they both some a little different but yes. it's useful and miss jamie who's gonna play for us today will be using this one right and some of them use the uh the, the that stick. one and the blue one is longer and yes and it is thinner yes. than the brown one, right? Right, right. The brown one is thicker, fatter, right. and that one is yeah. thinner, okay? Okay. So, with that said, we're going to get started. And we hope all of you out there, you are ready to enjoy this musical journey with all of us here at the Marion Center. Let's go guys, get ready to rumble, or is it to dance? Good morning, Marion Center family. Today we're gonna to talk about the differences in sounds of music and rhythms, okay? So listen carefully as I play this. This could be loud or really soft, let's see. What do you guys think? Is it loud or soft? Oh. Soft. Very good. If you want to try it with your eggs and your, your sticks, let's try it. Let's try it soft. Let's tap out a couple more people. Let's count. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. One, two, three, four. Still playing soft, so right? Really soft. One, two, three, four. Very good. One, two, three, four. 
called dynamics. Okay? In, in, in the real world of music, musicians play soft, and sometimes we play loud. Same thing when we use our voice when we sing. We sing loud sometimes, and sometimes we sing soft. Again, dynamics it makes the music more interesting. Check this out. Yes, um, Angie. Yes. Angie has requested to do a song. So Angie's song is Wind Beneath My Wings by Beth Medler. And we're going to give Angie her time right now. And everyone can join in to help Angie, okay? Let's go, Angie. Get your musical instruments in your hands, Angie. You'll be playing music. Let's go. Angie, be ready. You. Miss Jamie, you start it for her, please. Oh, 
Good job, Angie. Okay. So now, good job, good job, Angie. So now, Miss Jamie is going to play some blues. Yes. And that's one. That's one of her favorite thing to do. Play the blues. So let's get started. Dancing time music. Let us say goodbye to all of us. 